Whoa, what is this? I believe it is a Checkmate 1500 Plus. Great. Do you have all the parts to put in it? Probably. Well, <laughs> I guess we gotta go find him, huh? I think we do. Are you Riley the uncooperative retro dog? Riley, where's the parts to the Amiga? The Amiga fell down in the well? Is it in this pile of Amiga motherboards? Probably. Which one are you wanting to put in there? I don't know, my old one, but I'm not sure which one. I, mine was a Rev, this is a Rev 5. Oh well, here it is. Revision 6 A500. Uh, this one's missing a Denise. Vision 6A. And I guess we're going to be using this keyboard that you put over here. Probably. Okay. If it works. Oh, if it works, huh? Mm -hmm. So, uh, which one of these things we're going to use? The vampire? The world's fastest 68k accelerators. Uh, let's, um, 2000 drive bay covers for the 2000. Is that a Denise? Nope, that's a uh, GVP ROM. Whoa, that's for allows you to use USB. Which one is this? A tiny mouse or something? GoTech drive, that can go. Oh, we're gonna put a GoTech drive in there? Yeah. Might as well. Can you read that? I don't I think that's a... Are those 7030 in there? Uh, 68030, yeah. Yeah. Is that what we want? No. I, I just wanted to know what was in there. In here. What the? Alright, so... Some RAM. Good, alright. So here we are, there's our Denise. Okay. <clears throat> What's that in, anyway? Um, <clears throat> what was the name of this product? This individual flicker fixer. Oh. I'm trying to remember what the name of it is. We got pins. So we to need straighten. to get that, Denise. Well, no, we'll we'll put the there. whole thing. We'll put the whole thing. Oh, we need to get it. that. Yeah, we'll put that whole there. thing in there. Yeah. So we can test and see if the. So you've only got the version 2 of the vampire. Yeah. Eh. That's cool. We can still get this going pretty good, I think. GoTech installed. Well, GoTech is the least of our concern. Denise installed. Alright, we turned it on. Let's see, do we have a kickstart screen? Uh, nothing's happening.
Okay, so we've taken out the flicker fixer. Let's see what we got. Lights coming on. Ah, there we go. 2.0 ROMs. Doesn't it have a cool uh, silk screen on the back? He says knowingly. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> cool. And so we got to put that yeah. in there. Yeah, in the 68,000. Okay, vampires installed. Lights on. Lights on. Well, we don't have anything hooked up to the HDMI on the vampire. Oh, it's only HDMI out? Um, nope. There it goes. Well, yeah, I mean, we get until it gets up into work. It's Whoa, it's just 3.0, 3.1 ROM now. Yep. With the vampire. Yeah, well, Apollo team, 68080. Oh, that's cool. All right. Okay. So, what do we got to do? Read the manual? Yeah. Well, there's a little package of hardware. Mm -hmm. You're plugging it in. Oh, no, I was talking about for when we get to plug in the um. The ID and stuff. Oh. Let's see. Alright, that looks pretty well lined up, doesn't it? It looks that way to me. It looks like the screws are all. Yeah. I say do it to it. Alright, let's um So there it is. It's in there. Got to put the drive tray back in there. All right, so I guess we can hook the power switch up. Okay, so where's the power cord? Where does the ID, where do the LEDs go? As it turns out, we need more parts. We need a drive mount for the GoTek drive, and we also need to figure out how to wire up the LEDs for the front panel. And the next step also will include putting the keyboard together in the housing and then powering everything up and making sure everything works. So join us again, won't you? for the next installment.